Hello my fellow hunters, this video is only a uh, addendum to the video from la yesterday. Yesterday I talked about the best possible switch exploit with the Nagakuga X. If you have the weakness exploit true level 1 but with no slots. And at the end of the video, in the last some seconds, I also showed the best possible consolation if you have the weakness exploit 1 charm with a level 2 slot. But if you're using a weakness exploit 1 charm without slots, I think this 23 minute video is the best video for you. So please watch that video if you haven't a level 2 slotted weakness exploit 1 charm. Yes, at the end of the video I have also showed the set if you have a level 2 slotted weakness exploit 1 charm, but on this video but I don't make the morph for that charm. So in this video, I gone into the, the, in the into the morph for the level two weakness exploit one charm. <laughs> By the way, thank you for the 1,800 subscribers I reached today. And now we talk a little about the best possible set combination with the Nagakuga switch X. I also have to say that I don't know whether the Nagakuga switch X is the best switch X in the game. But I think it's one of the best free weapons and I gonna also try the Diablos X with Blood Channel. But I think I can't do them off today or tomorrow. Okay, the first thing you have to know is please augment the Nagakuga Switch X to a deck and don't do affinity, it's absolutely nonsense. So you can see this data. This data is for the weakness exploit one charm but non-slotted. And this data is for the weakness exploit one charm, but with a uh, level two skill. So you can slot in uh, extra attack tool. And this build, we are using attack boost seven without crit boost. And in this build, we are using attack boost five with crit boost level 2, but actually for me it's impossible to fit in weakness exploit level 3 and critical boost level 3. So we're gonna compare the math to the set above with attack boost level 7 and no crit boost. So the first thing we can recognize is if you're using attack boost 7 the file damage is still stronger. It's because switch x files can't crit and that's the reason because from this set the file damage is higher but we are don't iso i don't actually spam zsd or other stuff in monster Hunter rise i prefer the compressed zsd so i think it's not the important thing but we also have to say that if we're in amp state and i explained yesterday we in amp state for an extremely long time the file damage is very important. And for files, crit is not imp important. Crit doesn't play f any rule for the file damage. But now we go more into the moves for the switch X. We can see with the overhead slash, we do 3.6 more damage with one overhead slash. So we can see that's by far the highest damage, also better than with all the other skills we are having here. The only bad thing is, like I explained yesterday, the Soaring Wyvern Blade Dive Bomb Finisher. This move also does fixed damage and can't crit, so it's the reason. Because the Attack Boost 7 build is a little bit better here, but it heavily depends on your playstyle. If you always spamming the dive bomb finisher, I think maybe this set is a little bit better, but all in all, if you're also using a lot of X mode and sword mode and normal switch X gameplay, I think this set is a lot more better. Now the next move is the double slash. I put all the crits and the no crits and blue sharpness, white sharpness data here. I explained all that things yesterday, but you can see here with a double slash, we do barely 10 more damage. So that's a huge increase. And also with the wild swing, 
we do a lot more damage than with the attack boost 7 skill. So here ha you have the data, I may be gonna put a link in the description and you can watch that combinations yourself. And now at the end of the video, sorry, I'm gonna show you the decorations and other stuff I am using. So go to object box, manage equipment and set decorations. So we gonna equip our set. I've also put it poison attack level 3 into this build, but poison attack is not so important for the Nagakuga X because Nagakuga X doesn't have any element, so it's only for the file. And it also doesn't increase your file damage and only shortens the time you can poison the monster. It's the only thing a poison attack does on the Nagakuga Switch X. But I've slotted in because we don't need we don't need speed sharpening because we have razor sharp level three. So let's go to manage equipment and set decorations. On the Nagakuga X, we're using attack true level two. Yes, we're also using the channelos hair tie S. I gonna go to the smithy and show you the items you need for the channel loss hair tie S. We also have all Mutron Mail S with slotted in Venom Jewel, the Rathalos Praethus S with Attack Jewel, the Spyro Elytra S, which is absolutely meta pot if you don't have Weakness Exploit 2 Charm, gives you two levels of Weakness Exploit, and also the Golden Akama with two slotted in Venom Jewels, mm -hmm. and our Weakness Exploit 1 Jewel with slotted in Attack Jewel. I also want to talk a little about, uh, about the latent power skill. This uh, skill is absolutely good in Monster Hunter Rise because latent power is triggered I think 80 or 90 percent of the entire run. The skill can be triggered very easily and you got 10 percent extra so we have 50 percent from weakness exploit, 30 percent from the Nagakuga X and 10 percent for latent power. So we can say with the set we do always 100 percent crit and the last thing I do is I go to the smithy and show you how to craft the channel's hair tie S because I doesn't do this in the last video. Okay, um, you get the Spyro Waste with Weakness Exploit level 2. You need um, Toxic Kumori. You get that from your pocket form when forming some herbs or other stuff. You got that extra from the French girl for uh, Rondine is the correct name. And you get the Channeler's hair tie. You need Kamura tickets. You get that from the dude on the steps when you conti go continue in the story. This guy, Fugen the Elder, gives you the Kamura tickets and you craft the Channeler's hair tie, which gives you two levels of Razor Shop and this. Armor pot is absolutely recommended for everyone playing the Switch X. So you may be gonna do the more for the Diablo Switch X tomorrow or today and yeah, see you next time.